two two harbingers of darkness. Maybe I don't know. Harbingers they're, they're, of darkness. Like, One's an umber witch, and the other is comes out of a mirror or something. He got some killer eyeliner though. Umber Witch and a Dark Angel. Let's, let's and here we go, go on PS2, because of course we're on PS2. Why would you go anywhere else to begin anything? Good parry with the down tilt. I don't know, some people don't like PS2, but... Uh, I don't like PS2. I <laughs> okay, so you main a Pokemon character. Okay, nice. Sidetrack. Uh, what's up back a little bit of footsies, back and forth, try, trying to get in, trying to get a little bit of something started off with. Yeah. Both these characters are pretty combo-based. Uh, Hit's got like neutral air into a bunch of stuff, and, and their tilts, tilts are very good at comboing. But here we go, a little bit of a combo off start, getting a 56%. Yeah, I, I'm starting to notice a little bit of the uh, pattern. So, the Mechas is definitely oh, out. Good parry, and the oh. forward smash, gonna be a hard punish. Really good, really good whiff punish on the side B. Uh, so, a lot of what this matchup seems to be looking like right now is... Uh, Goldenberry is definitely trying to stay at a specific range to be able to whip punch everything. Just playing the push in the game like pretty well. But anytime the Mecha seems to get an opening, uh, definitely just out damaging uh, her neutral wave. Yeah, and the thing about Bayonetta in this game is like she might not have like the oppressive like oh I kill you at any percent I want yeah, like she did before. But yeah, but I'm so still that, the, do dam like the damage to you. the damage is like racks up like that. Until that's like 18 percent. It's crazy. Yeah, that's not even but, mentioning. Well, Mecha's here is like doing a really good job at crossing up and then just racking up the damage. Here we go with a forward air, at, at lapping, almost lapping in percent on this second stock. Charging the F-Smash. And just going to neutral get up into it. Yeah, Goldenberry. Try to time it, I think. He's looking like he is somewhat solid game for Goldenberry at the start, but uh, honestly, like, Lumekos is kind of running a train right now, just kind of taking a lead running with it. And sometimes that just ha is how it is. Like, in, in Ultimate, you just sometimes you, just, you just get those games where if you lose the lead, you just lose the game. And yeah. it's looking like it's looking Honestly, really yeah. rough right now. That is the that is the first time the Lumekos gun hit this stock. That is yeah. crazy. I like I've seen like Lumekos is just doing a really fantastic job at playing the neutral game and just honestly just camping right now. You're like, yeah, that's, you approach. that's the that's the great thing about Bayo with a lead and just any character with a lead in general. You don't have to approach. You don't have to force interaction. Oh, that was such a good uh, conversion. Just getting a little bit of chip damage and your best. So you just have guns. Oh, what did with? That was a really good recovery. Uh, just like harassing. <laughs> Oh, that's a witch time. That's gonna be it. I'm surprised that witch time did that. I mean, I swear usually don't projectiles doesn't do that, right? Uh, if you are it? close range, it actually will activate witch time. Oh, I didn't know that. I think it's like mid to close range. It the, is where like Let's the activation see. is. Uh, I mean, I can probably hop off at any time. Do I have a match? Uh, I'm. I have a match to play. That's fine. So, okay. I got this. Alright, getting into game two on Battlefield, this is Goldenberry's counter pick. Um Hopefully we'll see some adaption here, because uh, let's be real, she kind of got ran game one with some hard, like, one hard read and just lost the lead completely, and the neutral was, like, all in Lumekos' favor last game. But, we'll see some, uh, some new, some new stuff. Already not that much damage on the Lumekos right off the start, and, but okay, we'll get something, gonna get an air on the shield, gonna get punished with a, with a Witch Twist. Here comes the damage, 97% to 22, and an edge guard. Hits do have a kind of explodable recovery. It goes far, but like that back air not gonna do it just yet. Barely not killing. Let's see the recovery. Oh, going super deep, Lumekos. All right, slip on shield, punishing on the forward smash. Okay, with punishing the the witch time, Lumekos was, was expecting a mash. Oh, and just neutral, get, just getting up off from ledge and just forward smashing. <laughs> just punch, punching Goldenberry right in the face. Just get out of here. You're gone. And once again, Lumex is with a pretty, with a decent lead. Goldenberry's gonna have to want to take this stock, um, really quickly, or else uh, Lumex is gonna rack up damage and take this lead again. But I really like these arrows from ledge, They're allowing for a safe escape from the ledge, because sometimes at the ledge is pretty scary against characters that just have lingering hitboxes like Bayonetta. I mean, she's not the greatest at ledge trapping, but she still like has tools to, and if she hits some of her tools, she will die sometimes. Here we go, another witch twist combo. Not gonna connect that forward air, but just enough to get a little bit of damage and try to lap the percent. 
All right, there's a forward throw. Not gonna kill just yet. You need to pummel a little bit. You always gotta pummel. Pummeling is so good, especially at kill percent. You just gotta make sure you get that stock. All right, here we go. Ra Bayo with the rage is also kind of scary because you know when she has max rage, she can just kill like she was in Smash 4 again sometimes. So it's really scary. Mecha's just doing a really good job of getting past all these ledge traps, getting that back air from the side special. This is looking not good for, for Goldenberry. She just can't land this kill, and even if she gets the stock, I don't know how she's going to get that kill. That fourth are not going to do it just yet. None of these players fumble. Wow, the bullet's going underneath the, uh, the orbitals there, and we have another three stocks to one lead. And the Mechas is just going to run away, because why wouldn't you? Right. We're just saying Lumekos play neutral, like, out of their mind right now. And there's a dash tech finally going to take that stock. Alright, you know, you got this. You can, you can like, sort of get something going. Okay, Nair fair. Offstage situation. Back to neutral. You're, you're still at low percent, so you're like sitting kind of pretty on this last stock. But you gotta play, you gotta play a mountain to climb. And with Lumekos has been playing, it's, that's gonna be a hard mountain to climb. And here comes some big damage. Board air, not gonna connect. Thankfully falling out. I wonder, I wonder if she's SDLing up. That might cause something for this board not to connect. Because SDI is still a pretty big factor of falling out. Oh, the side be getting caught by the up special, and that forward smash gonna going to punish the side special yet again, but not going to kill. Almost neutral getting him to the up smash. Back throw. Bandit is so hard to edge guard. Her recovery is super insane. When I've seen the spot dodge with a dash attack, really nice stuff. We got another ledge trap situation. Trying to hit a back air. That will definitely do it at this percent at the ledge. But. Alright, Lomeko's getting kind of hungry for a kill right about now. Still playing very well. Pummeling forward throw. Not going to do it. You're not at the ledge. But it could be clutch. And the up smash going to punish that witch twist on shield. 130. Oh, and the forward smash is raw. Punch. <laughs> Get out of here. You're gone. And that was a pretty swift 2-0 from Lumekos. Uh, Golden Mary starting to adapt uh, later into game two. But unfortunately, just too late when you're down three stocks to one. But making a good effort, um, trying to get.